Tuesday, December the 15th, and we are in Proverbs 27 still, but looking at verse 18 today. Whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit, so he who waits on his master will be honored. This is a sort of obscure, maybe uh, you might miss the, the, uh, the challenge or the exhortation in it, but it's one of those Proverbs that are, are referencing hard work and the results of labor. So the person who keeps the fig tree, uh, the gardener, the one who takes care of the garden, they would be allowed to, at, a, in a, at an appropriate level, to eat of the figs as they worked. It was one of the results, one of the benefits of their labor. So they would not go hungry because they'd be working with the food and would be allowed to partake. So he who waits on his master which is a, a subservient role, one in which a, a waiter or a servant puts their desires to the side as secondary and their masters as primary. And what he's saying is that is not a futile effort because you will serve your master and he will return to you honor. In the same way that hard work out in the fig tree field will result with you having figs, it is not futile. Serving your master is not futile. So for you and I, it is an exhortation to do our best, to not be so wrapped up in immediate results and immediate gratification, but that we see the value of just being a faithful worker because there is a reward in it. And that reward would be uh, appropriate to what the activity is. That's why he mentions fig trees and their servant to a master. That if you do your job well, there will be a reward. There will be a result. And it might not necessarily come from the employer or what you do. It could be the reward that comes to your soul for doing a good job. My mother always told me that whatever you do, David, always do your best. Even if nobody sees it or nobody acknowledges it, you will have the reward of knowing you did your best. And that has served me well all these years because I've learned that many things you do do not get acknowledged. Many of the efforts you put forth do not result in a good product. But what it does result in is the reward of knowing that you did your best. And if failure or defeat was the result, it was not because you were half-hearted, because you gave your best. That gives you a peace and a well-being that helps you sleep at night, and that is its own reward. But generally speaking, in the rule of life, hard work is rewarded by fruitfulness. And we should keep that in mind. Let's pray. Fathers, we fight the tendency to move towards comfort, to be drawn by immediate results, and we sort of devalue the long-term projects and the um, uh, incremental investments that eventually pay off. Help us see the value of faithful work and faithful labor, and then enjoy the fruit of it, as Solomon said. And may we be uh, wise and wholehearted so we can do what Paul said, that whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, we do it all to your glory. And that whatever we do, we do it with a whole heart. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And we'll see you tomorrow.